Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we're going to be seeing how we can add or remove a node, a worker node or a master node to our Kubernetes cluster. So in the last two videos we've been seeing how to use COPS to create your cluster in AWS and how to upgrade your cluster using COPS um, so on. So now we're going to be seeing how we can add or remove a node. So I'm going to simply show you how you can remove a node but the process is going to be the same if you want to add additional worker node or add or remove a master node and so on so cops validate cluster so i've got this setup from my previous two videos so we have our cluster kubectl get nodes so we have a master node and two worker nodes cops get cluster so we have this cluster we've been using for the last two videos so now we are going to update this cluster let's say we've got uh the number of nodes current number of worker nodes are two i'm going to say i want to remove one worker node um, so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the instance group because all the nodes whether it's master node or worker nodes uh, they will be in an auto scaling group so basically you need to edit the auto scaling group which is the instance groups and then set the minimum and maximum as per your desire as per your liking so if i do cops uh, get instance groups minus minus name of the cluster so i want to get the instance groups for this cluster which we created so we have two instance groups as you can see here master and nodes you can see the type of machines and the number minimum and maximum so we're going to edit this instance group right so we're not editing the cluster configuration but we are editing the instance groups configuration so you can do cops edit instance group name of the instance group so we are editing the nodes instance group so that's the worker node instance group and if you want to uh, add or remove a master node you can edit this master instance group all right so if you edit that and you can see here minimum size and maximum size i'm gonna say minimum size i want my worker node instance group to have a minimum size of one and a maximum size of one so that's going to remove one of my worker nodes say for example we started with two one two and if you want to scale you can set uh let's say my minimum size needs to be three and maximum size uh, make sure the maximum size is always equal to or higher than your minimum size so maximum size i can say five so in my auto scaling group uh, the minimum number of worker nodes i need to be having at any point will be three and it can scale up to a maximum of five worker nodes so i will show you the auto scaling group by default you won't have any auto scaling policy but you can configure auto scaling policy so minimum size is three maximum size is five i'm going to change that to one and one so that will have one worker node at the moment we have two worker nodes so it's going to terminate one worker node all right so let's save that we have edited our instance group so now we are going to update cops update cluster minus minus yes okay so um let's see what it's going to do and then it will tell us what we need to do cluster changes have been applied to the cloud changes may require instances to restart cops rolling update we don't have to actually do rolling update we are not upgrading the cluster we are just removing a node from the cluster but there's no harm in running this command cops rolling update cluster minus minus name name of your cluster minus minus yes it's not going to do anything actually so it says no rolling update required and you can see the instance group the nodes is minimum is one maximum is one okay and if i do cops validate cluster and you can see here the other node is gone so now we are down to one worker node and one master node so we have the instance group that's the master instance group that's the worker node instance group and we have the minimum and maximum as one okay so and if i do kubectl get notes now if i type it correctly kubectl get notes you can see here it's not in the ready state so it's being decommissioned and if i go in here refresh my instance list 
So we have only two in the running state. So one is the master node, the other one is the worker node, and the other worker node is being shutting down, is being shut down. Okay, so it will at some point uh, will go away. So this uh, worker node will go away at some point. Okay, so let's wait for it. Meanwhile, if you want to add additional master node, you can do corps edit instance. Okay, let's do a corps get instance group first. Corps get instance group. If you don't want to type the instance groups in full, you can type the shorthand, which is IG, corps get IG. Name of the cluster, so we have these two, and if you want to add or remove a master node, do this, corps edit instance group, and change the instance group to the master instance group. And similarly here, you can say I want two master nodes, maximum size it can go up to three master nodes but it's always good practice to have uh, the number of master nodes to be an odd number like three or so all right i'm not going to do that change now okay so one other thing i wanted to show you let's see if we've got that okay it's still being removed but at some point it takes a while for this to disappear and if i go to the management console here it's still being deleted and if you go to the auto scaling group we have two auto scaling groups one for the master nodes one for the worker nodes and uh, you can see here um, if i select master node for example and if you look at the scaling policies there are there's actually no policy at the moment and same for the worker nodes uh, we've got an auto scaling group but we're not auto scaling uh, we can add auto scaling we can add a policy saying if one of my worker nodes CPU utilization goes above 80%, you can uh, increase the number of uh, nodes and so on. So you need to add that manually. All right, kubectl get nodes. Cool, so that's gone. So that's how you add or remove your uh, nodes from your cluster. So you don't edit the cluster configuration, but you just edit the instance group, all right? Uh, okay, so that was a quick video and that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Have, uh, have a go at it and if you've got any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video. In the next video, what we will be doing is we'll just tear this environment down. We will just delete this cluster and see whether it has deleted all the resources um, by going in the management console and verifying it. And then finally, we will also delete the, uh, the S3 bucket that we created for storing the cops state. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.